Uh, if San Diego State University could soon be forking over a lot more money to play football at SDCCU Stadium. The city and SDSU are close to a deal that would raise the Aztecs rent more than tenfold. 10 News reporter John Horn explains why that extra money may not bring much relief for frustrated taxpayers. The Aztecs pay the city a dollar for just about every ticket sold. The rent comes out to about 90,000 bucks a year. But in future seasons, try more than a million dollars just for the right to call this place home. If this were a 20 year lease and we were signing it, that might be different, but it's it's for two years. SDSU Athletic Director John David Wicker says the university can handle it without raising ticket prices, student fees, or anything else. Football's, you know, extremely important, obviously, to the athletic department, very, very important to the uh, institution as a whole. So uh, we'll make it work. The Aztecs will even sweeten the deal by sending the city all revenue from stadium concessions and parking. I think it shows the willingness of San Diego State University to work with our community and city, city leaders to, you know, find the path forward. SDSU is also seeking community support at the ballot box. It's now in a heated political battle over the future of SDCCU Stadium, which voters will decide in November. The university wants to turn the 166-acre site into a West Campus with a 35,000-seat football venue. We have an SDSU Mission Valley plan that you know talks about a great stadium and a great river park and a campus expansion. It's competing with Soccer City, a privately funded entertainment district with a major league soccer stadium, plus homes, offices, and a river park. It's a better deal for the taxpayers what it is. I mean, City Councilman Scott Sherman endorsed Soccer City and in a memo noted previous plans to close the stadium after 2018. His memo says the city is losing about $7 million a year to keep it open, which is why he says the Aztecs' new $1.1 million lease still doesn't make sense. San Diego State needs a place to play Play, but how much are we asked the taxpayers to subsidize them to play? Both sides agree something must be done with the land. They have until November to perfect their pitch to voters. John Horn, 10 News. Now the proposed lease will go before the city's Smart Growth and Land Use Committee on Wednesday. It would cover the Aztec seasons in 2019 and 2020.